Hi, this is Glenda. Um, this is what I've been up to this morning. I've uh, been making orchids. Um, orchids are probably my most favourite flower, easily. I've always loved them. Dad grew Cymbidium orchids and um, yeah, they're, they're just a favourite. So anyway, I've made some orchids and I have of course made a scan and cut file. And I'll also um, post a JPEG of, of this. Um, so if you want to just use a template and cut it out by hand, or if you want to put it into a different cutter, um, there's a chance of doing that. So, uh, But these are the pieces that it cuts out. You've got um, two lots of petals, the centre, and a couple of leaves. So, we shall begin. Um, I just cut everything out in white and um, colour it because I'm too lazy to put that much paper in the machine but you can equally put in different coloured paper you can colour it any way you like so I'm just going to colour my leaves green the concept and these tropical orchids tend to have a dark green leaf the cymbidiums that I have have a big long lighter coloured leaf they're completely different so um, all orchids aren't created the same. I've got some little tiny weeny native orchids um, which when they flower they have a little tiny bloom that it's probably half a centimetre across and it's a perfect copy of the bigger cymbidium ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. Mind you, come to think of it, it hasn't flowered for a while. Dad just had dozens and dozens and dozens of pots. Um, and I have not been, able to, not been able to keep them or keep them all alive, which is would be much to his horror. Anyway, we do what we can. But uh, the ones that I have that are starting to bud at the moment, I do absolutely love. So the centre, just going to put bits of colour. Um, you can do these any way you like. I doubt these are remotely anatomically correct. Um, but hey, it's just a card and it's just a paper flower. So just a few distress colours in the middle of this one and a squirt of water to make it all run. And if I can find my tweezers, just dry this bit off. We just want to shape them. So, I mean, I've got this weird tool that I've had forever. I don't even know what it's for. Um, there's all sorts of stuff you can buy at the moment, but you just want something that's not sharp that you can just get a bit of shape and just kind of put leaf shapes on your leaves. But basically, if you scrunch it, you're good. You can tell I'm not fussed about my flowers as far as this sort of thing goes. By the time it goes on a card and then in the mail and things like that, who knows what they look like when they get there. So that's those and then um, for these you just want to round them to give them some shape. And you're sort of spooning it up and it crinkles it but in actual fact orchids are so beautifully smooth they, they look like they're made of plastic and frequently nowadays they are. Um, but anyway, it's only paper and it's all an illusion. If you can give the illusion of the flower, the recipient is not going to take much more notice than that. So we've just shaped all our pieces. Then I'm just using hot glue, obviously, whatever you like. The fat on the three one, the fat one's going to go to the top or for you, the bottom. A bit of glue, and we put this double one on top of the. Just take this bit of paper away. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's already set. Anyway, 
just going to put the double on top of the triple and then this one, the little pointy bit, I think goes to the bottom. I'm just going to pop that in the middle. And then, I mean, the leaves and orchids kind of, they have a long stem and the leaves are coming out the side, but we're going to stick them behind it anyway. Anyway, you fancy. And I, the leaves are often sort of rounded too, so I've put them on both directions. Like I say, it's just the illusion of a flower. And that is all there is to it. So there's those, and I put a pearl in the center of that one. Um, as with all projects, do it as you wish. And um, if you like making flowers, I hope you like this one. Thanks for watching.